For today's grim adventure, we have to go all the way back to the year 1267 here in Scotland. That's right, 1267. And would you believe me if I told you that these gates right here lead to the ruins of a castle that was built by goblins? Well, today we're telling you the story of the ruins of Yester Castle and Goblin Ha. So what's the story with these castle ruins? Well, in 1267, a man by the name of Hugo builds a castle out in the middle of the woods and people in this area come to know him as the Wizard of Yester because it was rumored that he practiced black magic and necromancy. He was a, a black magician who dabbled in all kinds of spooky, spooky things. The story goes Hugo made a pact with the devil, and in doing this, he built an army of goblins to help build this castle. Now, the castle has been in ruins for quite some time, but there's still a room that kind of looks like a church that supposedly is where he practiced all of his black magic that still stands, and that is what we're looking for. I love that these trees on this path kind of have like a witchy feel to it. I feel like I'm being engulfed by witch fingers. Well, it looks like a tombstone, but it's part of the wall. It looks very old. It says something on it. Really, you can't really make it out except for the letter M and then an S and then 17 something. So I don't know if this was a street to the castle, maybe something street in the date, some, some sort of marker, but we're on the right path. We are very quickly learning, walking through the woods here in Scotland is where you'll find all the magic. Right? And on the other side of the bridge there is the castle. So this is a walking bridge. This is how you would get across the water. I'm gonna back up a little bit so we can take it all in. Right? The castle is about the center of your screen, high up on the hill. Beautiful. This is seriously the kind of stuff you see in old movies. Bridges like this. And honestly, I, I didn't even really think they existed. I thought maybe they're just all like cinematic or something, you know? I love that we find this bridge while we're searching for goblins. Well, a castle built by goblins. You look so perfect standing over there next to the water. No wonder you love Scotland. We both love Scotland, but Jessica, all she talks about is Scotland. And see this? We almost missed this bridge entirely. Right now, we're walking on top of it. Wild, right? I do want to point this out. It says this is a scheduled monument. This site is protected by law. It is an offense to damage it in any way. Ground disturbance of any form, fires, camping, and the use of metal detectors are prohibited. I would point this out because a couple years ago, there was people that came out here and they stole a bunch of bricks from the side of the castle. So if you talk to any of the locals, they'll all tell you that this place is closed and you can't come back here. So you're left to your own devices. But here it is. Covered 
and trees, ivy, bushes. Man, it's something else. All right, let's get a better look at it. So this is the castle high on the hill. Yester Castle. And Goblin Ha is actually the room. It was, it was a room underneath the castle and it's still there. Look at this. Right? Built in the year 1267. I'm guessing that was, it looks like it would be some sort of fireplace, doesn't it? Absolutely breathtaking. The castle here in Scotland built by goblins, or so the legend says. Jessica was just saying that this place kind of gives her black cauldron vibes. And I have to agree with her. Now, before we go down to the goblin ha, the room where the, all the black magic and the, the necromancy was to take place. There is a story about this castle that I find very interesting. You see, at one point, before the family moved away, one of the daughters, as a wedding gift, she received a pear. Like, it, I'm guessing it was kind of like a magical pear or something like that. And supposedly, as long as the pear stayed fruitful, like stayed alive and stayed beautiful, the family that built this place would prosper. Some years go by after the family prospered. She was tempted and she ate from the pear. She, she bit into it. And from that point on, the entire family kind of died away. Now, here's the interesting thing about this legends and lore. Supposedly, when she took a bite of that pear, it immediately turned to stone and it fell. And supposedly, it's still here absolutely no way of finding it. That's kind of a neat little legend, right? Now, oh, baby goal, who knows if that pear story is true, right? But it's fun. At least we know the castle is real, right? It, it is a fun story. And it really does remind me, like you said, of the Black Cauldron. This feels like the Horned King's castle. And I, I didn't expect it to literally be, literally be a castle on the cliff. So we came up a steep hill, but standing here, there's a steep cliff down by the river. Over there, there's another small section, and that's built into the cliffside. So you have to be really careful. One wrong step, and you are tumbling for quite some time until you hit the bottom. Here's a look down the cliff that Jessica was just talking about. And if we pan the camera over this way, through the trees here, right about the center of your screen, you can see some, some stonework. It's like a giant tower over there, right about the center of your screen. It's another part of it. I mean, this place had to have been huge. You know what this is starting to feel like? What's that? Like we're in an old 1980s, maybe 1990s full moon productions video where the Americans are abroad out in the middle of nowhere and some old ruins or an old castle and they don't know the spooky history. It's goblins. <laughs> <laughs> It almost always is goblins in the movies too. Almost always. You know what? I think this portion of the castle that was off in the distance is a lot bigger than we originally thought it was. I mean, right about now, it is filling up the entire screen. And there's a doorway over here. Oh man. Gonna walk through, right? 
it does not get any cooler than this. My mind is blown. I'm gonna keep walking out. Look at that, that's the wall. It is still going. Look how massive that is. Abandoned in the woods. All right, look, you can see the edges. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. And guess what? Right now, we are standing on top of Goblin Ha. Look how tiny she is. Should give you some idea of how massive this is. Right? You gotta come over here and look at this wall. There's no trees blocking it. So you get this perfect view of how massive it is. There's the top. It's wild to be standing here with something so old. This may be the oldest thing I've ever touched. And it's just perfect. This wall, this massive wall, there's not a thing wrong with it. The archway is perfect. Everything is still strong. So was it the legend that brought this castle down? Because it looked like it may have stayed standing for a very long time, had nothing bad ever happened to it. Still standing from 1267 to 2023. I mean, holy heckins. Gosh, I hug it. So we have a castle up there. Then right over here is like a little hidden staircase. And it goes down to two windows that have like iron bars on it. This is Goblin Ha. Now, people have told us in town that it has been sealed up, that you can't get down inside there because of all the different theft and things that have happened here. But we brought lights. We're going to see what we can do. At the very least, we're going to point the, the cameras in. <laughs> now watch a step, baby ghoul. Now we do have an external light, but this camera that we shoot with is really good at low light. So this is what it looks like just with ambient light. And that's amazing. You can see the vaulted ceiling. So supposedly this is where Yugo would practice necromancy and black magic. And there's supposed to be a staircase, I'm guessing on the other side to the right, that goes down even further. Some say that it goes straight to hell but it is blocked. I've seen pictures of it, it's blocked. And again, legend, rumor says that it caved in. Was that you, Jessica? Yeah, me. It caved in so the goblins can't come back out to earth. So I'm gonna turn on the, on the R light. So, look at that. I've heard of this place. I've read of this place. Like with so many of our travels, I never in a million years thought that I'd ever get to be here. Ready, I come down? Yeah, let's go ahead and switch baby goal. You'll go down to the bottom, I'll go to the top. Just be careful. After this, we're gonna go around to the other side and see if we can access it. So there's another sign up here. Scheduled monument, no damaging anything. So let's look through here. Okay, oh wow. So let's get the light in. <laughs> oh, geez Louise. I feel like I'm in some sort of belly of the beast.
This is nuts. Now do me a favor and really take this in, even for just a moment. This is a castle, castle ruins in the middle of Scotland that are rumored to be built by a necromancer dating back to 1267. And he sold his soul to the devil, so to speak, and had an army of goblins build this castle for him that still stands, not perfectly, but beautifully in the middle of the woods to this day. And these rooms that we just showed you is where he performed his black magic, according to local legend. Wow. Now, there's supposed to be another entrance to the chamber itself. And that's what we're looking for now. And just looking into the building, it doesn't look like there's any natural light. So I'm guessing it is blockaded. We'll find out. And if I'm not mistaken, it's, it's down the hill and behind it. So there's a pathway. Down here, a very small path. So the, yeah, baby, there is a pathway over here, but it is very small. You kind of have to hold on to the trees and make sure that you don't fall down. There's absolutely no way that you would ever find anything like this, anything like this remotely in the United States. Leave it to Scotland. Be careful. <laughs> You're so cute coming down the hillside. The pathway is getting a lot tighter, that's for sure. A lot steeper too. Now the Goblin Ha, the room that we're trying to get to is on the other side of this dirt mound. We're actually on the wall right now. And we know this because if I pan the camera over this way a little bit more, you can see right past this tree to the right hand side, there's a little pathway, hidden. Like, it's hidden. Standing in front of the entrance to Goblin Ha, here's a look at the castle up on the hill. So secluded, so well hidden. Hidden in the hillside is this entrance right here, and it is open, which means we're going inside. Well, it doesn't look like I have to crawl but I do have to get down pretty low to the ground. To get in here. Oh. All right, I can pretty much stand up now. Oh my word. This is absolutely glorious. You gotta see this baby ghoul. As soon as you come in here, you gotta look to the right. I wanna get the, the look on your face. Right now, we are standing in the castle that goblins built. Like, what would you do if you heard a goblin, like, grunt or noise, whatever they make? <laughs> well, I mean, I kind of still think that they might be cute and, like, nice little guys, but at the same time, they could also chew your ankles off. So, I mean, you're either going to get something that's afraid of you and kind of cute and timid, or something with really big teeth who likes to eat feet. Personally, whenever I think of goblins, my first thought goes to Labyrinth with David Bowie. Those little puppet-like creatures running around. I'd like to see a goblin, but you're right, Jessica, they might be uh, kind of dangerous with sharp teeth. Do you guys want to go down the steps to hell? Wait till you see this. I'm actually a little nervous about this only because this place is so freaking old. I mean, come on, look at this. The steps going down. Built in 1267. Oh man.
kind of shaking a little bit. Oh, it gets a lot smaller. Oh my God. It just goes and goes and goes. All right, so there's the bottom. Caved in for sure. Sorry, I had to hide the light for a little bit until I got down here. Man. Are you at the, the top, Jessica? So you can see her. <laughs> One more picture. It's also like a little signal so I know that she's there. When it comes to the Grim Life Collective, I've, I'm no stranger to doing crazy things. And this definitely has to be one of the craziest down the staircase that uh, from, it's so old like this. Don't, it doesn't feel warm down here like at like, you know, flames of hell or anything. It's a little bit cooler. It's still pretty wild. Alright. Is that you talking? No. Right. Honestly, coming back up the stairs was a lot harder than going down. Really? Yeah. So. As you go down, be careful, watch your footing. It gets tighter and tighter and tighter. It looks like a lot of stairs and they're very broken. Yeah. Definitely not for somebody who's claustrophobic, especially if you go all the way down to the bottom. I'm it, not claustrophobic, but uh, this might test my limits. Let's see. <sighs> it, you know what it feels like? It feels like as above, so below. Oh yeah. Wait till you get to the point where it, it turns to the right. <laughs> it's just so beautiful. It's pitch black if you turn it off too. Yeah, I could barely see you actually when you were down here. Very noise canceling. And I'm not even but five steps in. Very fascinating. I'm keeping the camera on you until I don't see any more light. Let's see if I can get a pic. <laughs> I'm taking lots of pictures, so you have to uh, forgive me for shining the light towards you, but it's, it is really beautiful. It's all right. So it looks like you're almost to the, the curve. Yeah. So this is what spelunking is like. I don't like it. <laughs> the further down you go, it's almost like you have to sit. There's no longer any steps, it's just rubble. Yeah, I'm having to crouch down already. And I'm only five foot three. Now I'm guessing that they tried to block up these stairs because there's a giant piece of tree down here. And that would be the only way for it to get down here is if somebody threw it down. Almost complete darkness. Almost there. I'm crawling a bit. Almost. Darkness. Darkness has fallen. Is Jessica still there or has she been taken by the goblins? Goblin King, Goblin King. There you are. <laughs> Ooh. 
what's that line? Goblin King, Goblin King. Wherever take you may this be. Child, wherever you may be, take this child far away from me. Yeah. Toby! Give up, Sarah. Give up, Sarah, before it's too late. That was an adventure, for sure. Yeah. Although I will say, if you descend and search for a stairway to hell, you might be a little disappointed, but it is actually quite lovely. It's very beautiful. Gives you an appreciation for architecture. I'm very proud of you. I didn't think you'd make it down there. Really? Yeah. I'm small. I know you're small, but the stairs. I fits, I sits. <laughs> stairs, yeah, stairs are my mortal enemy. And they were steep, but it was more the climbing, having to sit on your bum and then scoot down to the far end. That was a little difficult. One more look at Goblin Ha before we leave. A nice little day trip here in Scotland. Absolutely gorgeous. Gore, G-O-R. Gorgeous. I don't know goblin speak. And with that being said, thank you for joining us on another grim adventure. Probably one of the most grimmest that we've ever done. Like old world Scottish history. Yester Castle, the ruins of Yester Castle, and this room known as Goblin Ha, the castle built by a necromancer with the help of goblins from hell. That was fun to say. Until next time, happy Halloween. Wherever I come, I've had luck. It's gone from my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. His dad is stay. Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always a coming my way. 